in terms of the uh, data that we uh, is just released, uh, from a macro standpoint, actually in year to day, we have already seen some encouraging signs, uh, whether it's from the GDP or PMI or some other activity like um, data. Now in April, of course, we have some uh, pullback and uh, the reasons uh, trade data isn't that um, strong. Uh, however, we believe that from a bottom-up perspective, um, actually there are some uh, um, green shoes in the earnings uh, recovery. Uh, if we look at the recent um, earnings release, in particular for Hong Kong market and China markets, um, actually we have seen some um, stabilization in the earnings revision. So um, over the medium term, we actually expect the government stimulus measures to start to feed through to the real economy and that should help the uh, uh, corporate fundamental. Janet, you just heard there an interview with Jeffrey Gunlack who spoke to CNBC saying that there's now a better than 50% chance that this next round of tariffs that the US has announced will indeed go ahead. Is that changing your view on Asian equities and what mm -hmm. is your take on what could happen as we come into this mm -hmm. next round of talks? Right. Um, so the current scenario is of course not pricing by the market. Uh, and hence the volatility um, spike up. But we actually think this, is, uh, this open up uh, our buying opportunities. Now there are three things that we think the investors should take note of. Uh, number one, both sides have uh, invested significant amounts of time and resources to come to this far. So um, we still believe that it's uh, likely that both parties would like to preserve uh, the achievements so far. Uh, also, when the uh, U.S. Uh, presidential election is in sight for next year, we do, we do not think the U.S. can afford a uh, no-deal scenario. Now, the second thing is really uh, back to the uh, Chinese fundamentals. Uh, compared to the same time last year, the Chinese uh, broader economy is uh, in a better shape thanks to the different emphasis of the deleveraging as well as some stimulus measures announced by the government. So we think that the Chinese uh, economy should be in at a better footing compared to last year. And then finally, coming back to the um, investment um, market, uh, we believe that there are still abundant domestic opportunities in China. And also, um, also remind that uh, MSCI is going to increase the Asia inclusion factor from 5% uh, now. Uh, just in a few weeks, it will increase to 20% in the next six months. So we think that while the market will take this event to consolidate year-to-date gains, we actually think that this is a very good opportunity to revisit the Chinese market again. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.